Hi guys, welcome to this weekend vlog. I am excited to take you through this weekend with me. If you're new here, hi, my name is Shredda. My friends call me Shreds and I am 23 years old. I live alone and I work from home. I work a full-time supply chain job in the med device industry. Beyond that, I'm not sure what to say. I think maybe I should have rehearsed this. I'm originally from India. My mom is currently in Chennai, which is the city I was born and raised in. And to be very honest with you guys, I have been feeling very homesick and truly there's nothing I can do about it. So this weekend is just going to be a weekend of self-care and me trying to distract myself from the fact that I haven't been home in over six years. I'm doing so well. Maybe I'll open up more about it later in this video, but that's not the point of this intro. I wanted to say hi, welcome back. If you wanna stick around, if you're new, please subscribe, give this video a like. And in a couple minutes, Shannon is actually going to be downstairs. I'm gonna get that I'm here text, where are you? And I'm gonna have to run down because we are going to brunch and we're also going to get some new piercings. If you've watched my Boston vlog, you already know who I'm going to go with, Shannon, Liz, Annie, Emily. Last year, it was super hard to get the five of us in the same place at the same time. I've talked about that before. And this year we're trying to make more of an effort to plan things in advance to see each other. Even if it's once a month or once every other month, it makes a huge difference and I'm so excited to leave my apartment. I have been in here and I have not left for a couple weeks now. Actually, I've gone to Trader Joe's a couple times, okay? Grocery shopping keeps me sane. Dan and I go together and we're actually going to go later today. So maybe you will see a Trader Joe's haul. <laughs> I am back home. Let me set you down. The piercings went really well. Everyone got their cartilage done except me because I got my second holes done. I can't believe I haven't gotten them done before, but I'm excited to have them. Um, to be quite honest with you, the stud is hideous. <laughs> It is so big, not my style. Here's what it looks like. So obviously I'm very excited for the six week healing period to end. I got my first holes done when I was a baby. So I really just didn't remember if it was gonna hurt or not, but it did not hurt. It's about 2.30 right now. I'm going to make a little snack plate because I actually had an appetizer to my brunch. I had a smoothie before I went and then I had brunch. So I'm not super hungry, but I'm kind of hungry. So it's snack time. I'm thinking a little cucumber hummus cracker platter situation. How good does that sound? That sounds amazing. Okay, let's do it. The set is huge. It Maybe it's just in my head, but I really don't like it. It does not go with these earrings either that I wear often. Place your bets, people. Will I have the patience to wait six weeks before ripping that out and changing it? Or am I just going to cause myself a lot of pain and stress and change it early? I think we all know the answer to that one. This is where I'm going to be until further notice because 
I decided I haven't sat down and watched a movie in a while. I've been watching TV shows. So I'm going to rewatch my all time favorite movie, which is Crazy Rich Asians. I've definitely seen this way too many times. I can quote the movie, but that is not gonna stop me. I'm having my snack while I do this and trust me on the hummus and hot sauce. I know it might seem a little weird, but it is amazing. Honestly, if you can't rewatch your favorite movie a billion times, is it really your favorite movie? There really isn't that many movies I can do this with. Dan has also actually watched Crazy Rich Asians with me probably three or four times. Once my snack is done, I'm gonna take my makeup off, relax, watch the movie, and then get groceries. So maybe I'll see you guys when I'm taking my makeup off because I'm trying a new makeup remover. Welcome to my bathroom. If you've watched my videos before, you've definitely been in here, but I just cleaned my ear piercing with this spray. I've used it before for my nose when I got it pierced, they gave me the same thing. And I am about to take my makeup off with the Superberry Dream Cleansing Balm by Youth to the People. They are one of my favorite skincare brands and I've never tried this stuff so I'm excited to use it. I did wash my hands really well and I took my rings off so let's see how this goes. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. I'm not enjoying the feeling of this. Uh-uh. <laughs> it feels like I'm rubbing butter all over my face. Kind of feels nice though. Maybe I kind of like it. Mm, I don't know. Here is a little close-up action. I know my nails are absolutely horrendous right now. I definitely feel like I would be a lot gentler with my skin using this over cotton pads and micellar water, but micellar water just seems easier. <laughs> Yikes. It's taking my makeup off really well though. Look at this. That's disgusting, but it's doing a good job. It's been a few hours and the plan right now is to get groceries, perhaps ingredients to either make a homemade pizza or a frozen pizza. We'll see where the night takes us. But we also need to make a quick stop at the liquor store because we really want to try out a cocktail or two, maybe two different ones, we'll see. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Good morning, guys. It is, oh, it is 1.42 p.m., so it is the afternoon. It is no longer the morning. Good afternoon, guys. I have had the laziest Sunday morning. I finally decided to get out of bed, put my sheets in the laundry. I like to do them every other week, and I just always look forward to the feeling of getting in bed when the sheets are warm and fresh. This is what I'm having for lunch. It's a taco bowl, nothing new. I make this all the time, but I wanted to show you guys the bitchin' sauce I used on it. I've been using this for a couple weeks now. This stuff does not last in my fridge, as you can see. It is the cilantro chili flavor, and it is incredible. The ingredients list is pretty good, and overall, this is just amazing. I highly recommend you try it, but it is almond-based, so if you are allergic to nuts, stay away. 
I owe you guys a Trader Joe's haul. I never ended up doing one last night. So here we are back in the kitchen. It's time for a haul. Let's try to get this done. Speed through it a little bit. Starting with fruits and veggies, I got some zucchini to put in stir fries and just random meals. I think I'm going to make pasta sauce out of zucchini later tonight. I got some celery for green juice, cucumber for green juice as well. Sticking to the theme of green juice, I got some Meyer lemons. Back to greens, I got some arugula that I used on my pizza yesterday as well as the sauce and cheese and frozen pizza crust. They were all from Trader Joe's. Also, the pepperoni. The very, very greasy pepperoni. Pepperoni so fatty, but I guess that's why it's so good. Got some avocados. These are the teeny tiny avocados from Trader Joe's. More fruit, I got some bananas and blueberries. Almost forgot to show you guys my russet potato. She's a beauty. We kind of look, we kind of look alike. I got some ginger and turmeric shots because they were on sale. And if you like dill and you like salad dressing, do not ask any questions and run to Trader Joe's to get this. It is their vegan creamy dill dressing and I'm not vegan, but this stuff is amazing on top of everything. For frozen items, I wanted to try this fettuccine with mushrooms. Trader Joe's usually really kills it with their frozen things, so I feel like it's gonna be good. Then we've got a staple, the chicken cilantro mini wontons. These are good on their own. They're good in soups, noodle dishes. They're just so easy. I got the frozen mac and cheese I always get. I've talked about this in my what I eat in a day and it's really good. This next item, I'm a little skeptical for good reason. It is palak paneer and I grew up eating palak paneer. I love it. I'm hoping this tastes good so I don't have to learn how to make it myself because I'm not quite there yet. I'm embarrassed to say I've never cooked a proper Indian dish by myself. It's not like I was born a racer or anything, you know? Yeah. Anyways, for protein, I got these Smart Tenders. They are plant-based chicken tenders. I believe they're made out of soy. And I also got these organic sweet Italian chicken sausages that are really good. I got some ground turkey. This is something else I get every single week. Same goes for eggs. And I was all out, so I picked up some chickpeas. We only have a few things left. I got the miso ginger broth to make soup out of because miso is great for gut health. This is the marinara sauce we used on our pizza yesterday. Almond milk, I always have some in my fridge. I wanted to try the spicy miso instant ramen, so I'll let you guys know how it is. The last two items are just snacks. I got the rolled corn chili lime tortilla chips. I like eating these on its own, and I also like putting them in burrito bowls. The last item I've never tried, it is the garlic non crackers. I got these to eat with hummus because the crackers I showed you earlier, they were pita crackers. I'm almost out of them and I love eating hummus and crackers. So gotta, gotta always keep them on hand. That is it for the grocery haul. I think I'm gonna get changed and go to the gym just to get some movement in, do something quick. I don't even know what I feel like doing. I just wanna move. I'm guessing this is going to be a very random workout and then I need to put my sheets in the dryer. I'm gonna cook some dinner, maybe do a face mask later. After I worked out and showered, I made the pasta sauce with zucchini that I was telling you about earlier, and I figured I'd do a voiceover to tell you guys some of the things I would have done differently. So first of all, I added an entire yellow onion because I wanted to use it up, but I would not add so much yellow onion next time because it is quite sweet. I would add both some yellow onion and shallots maybe? With boiling the pasta, that all went well. Of course, it's really hard to mess up. And for the zucchini, I just roughly chopped it up, threw it in the pan with my onions, let them saute together, 
and then I seasoned it just a little. I kept seasoning the sauce and tasting it as I went because, of course, I've never made this before and I didn't have a recipe to follow, so it was kind of all up in the air to see how it would end up turning out. I added my sauteed veggies into the blender with some almond milk and this recipe was so close to being vegan, so easy to make vegan. I added nutritional yeast and also some fresh basil before blending it up and as I blended it up I realized it needed a little more of a liquidy consistency so I added more almond milk to it. Then I drained my spaghetti, it's my favorite pasta shape and I added my sauce on top of it. I seasoned it as needed and I did need quite a bit of garlic salt so I added more to it and this was the finished spaghetti. It was so quick and easy. I added parmesan cheese which is where the vegan part goes right away and even more parmesan cheese and chili flakes. This was delicious. I highly recommend turning roasted veggies into pasta sauce. I can't wait to do this again with different veggies. And I also added some cut up chicken to it. It's been a few hours since I had my pasta, which was so good and it exceeded my expectations. Right now, I'm going to be doing this face mask. I just put the sheets back on my bed and it looks so cozy. I'm so excited to just crawl in there watch some TV. There is a new episode of Euphoria coming out tonight, so that's what I'll be watching. It's season two, episode two that comes out today, and I'm also going to read a bit. I just like to get in bed early on Sundays so I can watch shows, read, and then still sleep at a decent hour before work, so I just start the work week off fresh. Hopefully I sleep well. I figured as I do my face mask, I might as well touch on the topic of homesickness because I brought it up during the intro of this video. And honestly, it just comes in waves. I've been struggling with it a little more now that my mom is in India because it always hits me that I haven't seen some of my relatives and friends in so many years. Most of my family lives in India and Malaysia. I'm Malaysian Indian, I feel like you guys know this by now. But I haven't gone back to India since I graduated high school because there was that huge break and then since then things kept coming up and the plan was to go back to India before starting a full-time job but with the pandemic of course I could not do that. It's just it's made things difficult for everyone. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I'm very grateful that my parents do live in the United States as well and that we move together but I have been having I don't know. I've just, it's hard to put into words because I start overthinking it all and then I get into the topic of thinking about how many chances I have left to visit and see certain people who are getting older. This, this is getting a little sad so I'm gonna stop talking about it but it's been on my mind a lot and I am sending love to any of you who are missing home, missing any of your family and friends. It's not easy, but here's to hoping we see our people, our country, our place, whatever it is, again soon. I have not done a face mask in a while, and I've only used this one twice. There's still a lot of product in there, so I don't know how I feel about it yet. <laughs> I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror. I'm so sorry, that's way too close. But I'm going to leave this on my face and look like a mad woman for the next maybe 10 minutes. Yes, it says 10 minutes. So this is what I'll be doing. And then I'm just gonna get in bed, go to sleep soon, hopefully. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. If you're still here and still watching, thank you. And if you would like more vlogs, let me know because I'm still I'm still testing the waters to see what I enjoy filming the most. See you guys next week. Bye. Oh, I missed I missed several spots. This is why I need to look at an actual mirror. You know what? It's good for now. <laughs>